Hello viewers, welcome to Ajadi Math class. Today, I will be factorizing this equation using an easy approach. Okay, now we have 18x squared plus 9x minus 335 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation and um, I will be using factorization approach in doing this. And this is what I'm going to use. Here we have... 18x squared plus 9x minus 35 equals 0. The first thing we do is that here we have the 18x. Don't worry about the square. Leave it. Okay? Close the bracket. Open another bracket. We have the 18x. Close the bracket. Okay? And the next thing for us to do is that how do we go about this? Looking at this we have 18x squared and 35 okay just leave the 9x alone here we have that 18 multiply by 35 okay we have that our 18 multiplied by what 35 and in doing this we can split this into two factors that we have 3 times 6 okay 3 times 6 gives 18. While 35 also, we have that we have 5 times 7. This also gives what? 35. Our objective is this. We are looking for two values such that when it is being added together, it gives plus 9. Okay? That is our objective. Now, let's pick these two together. Multiply this. Multiply this. Okay, 6 multiplied by 5 gives 30. Okay, we minus, you subtract it from the multiple of this. 3 multiplied by 7 is minus 21. Okay, and 30 minus 21 gives 9, plus 9. So we have this. Okay, so in this case now we have plus 30 minus 21 okay now the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to look for the multiple of we are going to look for the ac have that can divide this that is the highest common factor that can possibly divide 18 and 30 okay and the ac have is 6 so we are dividing this by 6 okay and the ACF of this also, the highest common factor that can divide this, that can go in this, is what? 3. Okay, it is an equation, so I'm going to equate it to 0. So in this case now, we have that 6 here, 1, 6 here, 3, 6 here, 1, 6 here, 5. So in this first bracket, we have that we have 3x plus 5 okay and in this 3 year 1 3 year 7 3 year 1 sorry please 3 year 1 3 year 6 3 year 1 3 year 7 so we are left with 6x minus 7 equals 0 okay Simplifying this further, we have that we can possibly equate each of it, which is 3x plus 5 equals 0, or 6x minus 7 equals 0. Okay, simplifying this further, we have that our 3x, if this comes here, equals minus 5, or 6x equals 7. Okay, dividing both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 3, which is 3. Here we have x equals minus 5 over 3, or over 6, over 6. We have x equals 7 over 6. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please do subscribe and also share our video. See you next time. Thank you very much.